We have some breaking news just coming in, and these are inside details of how Shanavaz was nabbed. Cops track Shanavaz through new SIM card. Thane police reached Shanavaz through new SIM card. Thane police have received information that Shanavaz has taken a new SIM card and is using the same. The police then extracted the information of the new SIM card in which Shanavaz location came out to be in Alibagh area of Raigar. After this, two teams of Thane police left for Alibagh. On the night of 10th of June, from 3 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. in the early hours of the 11th of June, the Thane police searched several lodges and cottages in Alibagh. Meanwhile, Shanavaz and his brother got caught by him, who was living in the lodge after changing his name. Saurav Akhtania is getting us more details on that big story. Saurav, give us an idea about how the police are, in fact, what the police are indicating in terms of how they zeroed down on him. So, well, this is a very interesting story. Let me tell you that initially yes. when Ghaziabad police was here in Mumbra, they searched his house in Mumbra, but uh, there was nobody found. In fact, uh, his mother, his two brothers were also not found. They learned that the entire family just after the case was launched, they escaped from Mumbra. Now, Ghaziabad police was here camping and the original number of the entire family was not traceable. This, this is when the Thane police officials who are investigating the case to search down, to hunt down for Shanavas, they found out about this particular new SIM card brought by Sanavas. Uh, once they found about this particular new SIM card, they were tracing him. First, he, he was traced to Worli. From there, he went uh, to Raigad uh, in Alibagh. And uh, here is when the two teams of Thane police were sent over here. Uh, behind me is the Mumbra police station wherein Sanavas uh, is been kept right now. We have been told that uh, he will be taken to court uh, after 11 and he will be produced in the Thane court where a tranche is uh, remand will be seek. Uh, but uh, time and again, Shanawas was continuously changing his uh, uh, location. He was changing his name as well at different location wherever he was going. Uh, he uh, gave different name. That is what the police officials are telling us. A very interesting part is also that Shanawas has told police officials that he got very much afraid after the FIR was filed. In fact, let me tell you, the sources are also telling us that uh, once the FIR was launched at Ghaziabad police station, uh, of Kavinagar police station in Ghaziabad, uh, uh, Shanawas immediately came to know about the FIR which is lodged up in scene. In fact, Shanawas also had the FIR copy with him. So this is what the police are investigating that how uh, Shanawas immediately came to know about the FIR and he also access to the FIR copy. So this is the part of investigation but right now Shanawas is arrested, his brother is also arrested. The SIM card provider who actually provided this particular SIM card to which Shanawas is arrested, that SIM card provider is also detained by the Mumbra police. Further investigations are on questionings will be happening to that SIM card provider as well. But right now, after a few hours, Shanawas will be taken uh, to Thane court uh, where Transit remand will be seek. Later on, he will be taken to Ghaziabad. You know, I want to give a, get a sense from you about how this racket, in fact, was, was, was functioning in that sense. How was it that this entire racket was just, just saw the involvement of one person and the brother of Shanawas, now two persons essentially, Give us an idea about what the police are saying about the nexus with others in this and what is it that they found in terms of the investigation. So this is a very serious case. The charges against Shahnawaz and one Muslim cleric from Ghaziabad are very serious. First of all, the two accused, what the police are telling us, they came to know, uh, they got in touch with uh, each other through this particular online game and then this is what they decided to convert the young uh, Hindu uh, boys all below the age of 18 and the first case which was uh, opened up in uh, Ghaziabad area that how this uh, uh, minor boy was actually going to uh, Masjid five times a day. Uh, very interesting module operating uh, this uh, accused were having, they actually were targeting uh, uh, the youths uh, of our country and not just this case is related to Gaza but the several calls have been made to Gujarat and Maharashtra as well just it was the police sources are telling us the police are actually uh, investigating that whether there is a larger picture to this because right now three people are arrested but how 
this entire thing was happening because there is an online betting game which the young youths were actually uh, losing but when they were told that you should recite Quran, you should pray to Allah after which they start to win and this is when they win over them and the conversion was happening. There are several such conversion which is happening, which has already happened. That is what the police sources are uh, telling us. But this 23-year-old, which is a very young uh, uh, teenager, if you can say this boy, uh, who is the main mastermind, the Shahnawaz is the main mastermind. So wherein he got this idea and how he was running this entire syndicate is a big question. And his questioning will be very important that further, uh, the further things will be revealed. So right now the main target of the police will be to get the transition take him to Ghazabad and question him thoroughly. So the police will come to know that how he was very well connected and how he was converting so many people just online. All right, I would thank you for the moment for getting us up to speed with that information. This has got to do with the gaming racket, the online gaming racket that we are talking about.